login class, I thought it'd be useful for you to go through um, the priority learning units for CSP, to break it down a bit and just to see, so that you can see what's required and also see that um, there's plenty of scope uh, for us to do different things in different ways outside of the book. Um, so not all chapters have to be done in the book. Um, what we try and focus on is the overall for each strand and the kind of needs for each, each one of those. Does that make sense? Again, remember you have my email, john.mcgarry at stjolstrush.com if you need help with any of this. But um, yeah, so we'll start off. So the PLUs are basically priority learning units. They're another way of saying what's, what's the most important things we need to learn about um, CSP, civic, social, political education. Okay, so we've got rights and responsibilities. You know that that's strand one. You'd know that from class. And you'd know also from class that we call strand two global citizenship. Uh, well, no, actually you might know that one because a lot of us haven't dealt with that one yet because we moved on to strand three. So you would know exploring democracy is strand three and you'd know uh, strand one is, is rights and responsibilities, both first and second years. Okay, so what's important here to learn about in rights and responsibilities? Well, we want to learn about uh, what it means to be a human and how to live in a community and what are, what are rights and responsibilities, what are the differences between them. Create presentations on where human dignity is not respected, in other words, human rights abuses around the world. Um, that we highlight those, that we have a knowledge of them, and create a hierarchy of needs, wants, and rights. Yeah, know the difference between your needs, i.e., say basic food, shelter, your wants, maybe the latest fashion designer label, rights, then you have a right to free speech, right to education, and know the difference between those. Yeah. Okay, so assemble a basic needs basket representing the needs of a family living in Ireland, not just their economic needs. So again, that's something to think about. What are the needs that people have? Yeah. Access and interpret numerical data shown local and global distribution of basic resources and patterns of inequalities. That basically means is have a look to see um, some graph or some form of figures to see how we compare um, in Ireland versus um, what resources other countries have. Yeah. You know that Ireland is one of the richest, we talk about in the class, one of the richest in Ireland per, per capita. Uh, GDP is one of the highest in the world. We know that other places like the Congo would have a different standard of living and, and different rights. We talk about North Korea, different rights and different, uh, different standards of living there too. Okay, so number two, human rights instruments. Share stories of individual groups who inspire them. And again, we do a lot of inspiring stories in class. Um, we have a list of videos on the website there of the ones we use. Um, and yeah, so create a time timeline tracing the origin of the concept of human rights showing for, for five or more key dates. So where did human rights start? Remember, um, well, the Bible and remember kings and queens then and how things became law and rights. All that we did in, in the book. Okay. And also, Communicating their understanding of how uh, UNDHR and UNCRC and ECHR applies to their lives in terms of both their rights and responsibilities. So what that's talking about there is your human rights. And we did those in class, the list of human rights, is about 26 of them in the book. And then we had a, a children's rights as well, which is additional rights that you especially have as, as children too. Okay. Identify examples of social, cultural, language and economic, civic, religious and environmental and political rights. So in other words, looking at rights from different angles. And outline different perspectives and situations where there's an apparent conflict of rights. So we talked about Northern Ireland where it's a conflict of rights. For example, uh, Protestant orange groups uh, may want to walk down the streets of, say, um, uh, an estate full of Catholic um, Republicans and vice versa. And sometimes there's problems with that. And they'll say, well, we've a right to this and then we've a right. So there's a clash of rights there. Okay. And show an appreciation of the responsibility to promote and defend their individual human rights and those of others. So we went through different people who defend rights and 
people like Martin Luther King and, and also um, people like Nelson Mandela and different people who fight for people's rights around the world. Yeah, we know the Un United Nations is set up as a peacekeeping force to try and fight fight for those human rights worldwide too. Human rights instruments then. So share stories of people who inspire them because of uh, because of their work for human rights. And again, we did a lot of different ones uh, on that as well. Create a timeline tracing the origin of the concept of human rights. Yes, yeah, so show them how rights became rights. We started kings and queens. Uh, and various forms in, in history and then built into documents. So communicate your, your understanding of how, um, yeah, we need to move on to show an appreciation of the responsibility to promote and defend their individual human rights and those of others. Okay, so actually getting out and actively, and we joined up at VAS um, and actively trying to defend human rights around the world and being active on that and, and caring about people and wanting to, for them to ha have the same um, rights and, and uh, good standard rights like, like the Western world. Reflect on what has been learned in this strand. So every time we finish a strand, I want you to do a two page A4 uh, typed up or audio and you reflect on what it is that you learned from that strand. Okay, so we said this is strand one. Um, and that was called rights and responsibilities. Now, moving on to global citizenship, that's strand two. And then if we go further down, we're gonna be talking about strand three, which is the one we're currently on, exploring democracy. Okay, so what we do is we go on to exploring democracy next. Now there's 13 learning outcomes. Do you need to know them, you know, off by heart? No, you just need to, to touch on, on them and have a good general knowledge you're able to reflect at the end of what you learned about um, exploring, exploring democracy. Okay, so the meaning of democracy is a big section on that strand three. So how does democracy work? Where does it come from? Does North Korea have democracy? Uh, how does Ireland's democracy work? Yeah, we all, all have the vote to vote in the leaders that we want. Um, who has power and influence on democracy? The United Nations, voluntary organizations, Avaz, Greenpeace, world leaders, all try and promote, well, most try and promote democracy around the world, which means giving people power and giving people the vote. Describe decision-making process and the roles of different groups in their class and their school clipboard. So is it a democracy in school? Who gets to make the decisions? Who gets into powerful positions? Are they voted in? What way that works? And again, interview people about that to find that, find that out so that you can have a better understanding and ask me. Compare two or more systems of government, taking particular note of the ways in which uh, the state interacts with citizens and citizens can shape their, their, their country and their state. So we, we talk about North Korea, we talk about um, Ireland, and we might talk about uh, America, yeah? And we've, we've done a uh, certain amount on that already. So use the correct terminology to describe Irish and European democratic institutions, structures, yeah, so how the UN works, all the different bodies within the EU, like the EU Parliament, the EU Council, um, yeah, that's a big part of that chapter in the EU, there's a big, big, big section in strand three on that. And there's also a section on the United Nations, yeah, which is a big global organization to help peace around the world. So 3.5, discuss strengths and weaknesses of the democratic process. So why is it good? Is it working? Is it not working? And um, is, is it democratic enough? Do enough people vote in Ireland? Is there a big section of people not voting? If not, why? And then the people are in power. Are they in power elected by all the people or just maybe 20, 30% of the people? And is that right? Is that wrong? Is it working? Is it not working? We're better with it. We're better without it. Um, Russia, you know, is more of a dictator system whereby Putin has been in power, uh, been in power a long time now, and uh, consecutive, consecutive years and consecutive terms of, of, of office. Um, is that working well? Is it not? Um, so it's not as clear cut and not as straightforward sometimes as you might believe. So the law and the citizen. So law, we, we dealt with in detail there. We get, did a big video on it as well. And um, you identify laws that direct that the, relate to your lives, what laws you have today. Um, explain how the Gardaí and the courts inf enforce laws. Explain the role and the rev relevance of local, national and international courts. Remember, the EU courts and the international courts, along with our small claims court district and our own Irish courts, just be aware of that. And we've gone through that and investigate how individuals or groups have, have used the law to bring about change in society. So how can you bring change in society, better ones? For example, a really simple one is like, it's the law now is to, is to have uh, plastic, to, to, that you have to buy plastic bags, yeah? That you have to spend money 
um, to get them, whereas you should use your reusable ones and, and bring your bags in with you to supermarkets. Um, because now we brought in a law that says you need to do that. If you don't, you're going to have to pay for a bag. Yeah, so that was that really helped the environment because a lot of uh, wildlife and marine life were dying because those plastic bags and those plastic bags take thousands of years to disintegrate. So um, good idea. You know, laws can be good. They're not all bad. Um, in fact, most of them are good. They're to, they're to protect us and to protect uh, our world. Okay, the role of the media in a democracy. Um, we debate the pros and cons of media freedom. Uh, how much freedom should people have to say what they want? Um, again, in North Korea, it's going to be different. In China, is going to be different. And what uh, they can look at and what they can say is different than what we can... We have a lot more freedom in Ireland, for example. Debate the pros and cons of this freedom of media. That, that's, can uh, Trump, for example, he's putting up different posts. Should they be uh, more monitored? View of Radcar, Twitter. Um, is it good that we have uh, the word directly from our leaders? Um, or should it come from... Um, Quality newspapers, um, or should it be a mix? How do we know which is real? How do you know what's the truth? How do you know who's writing whose blogs? Um, so it's a different elements to that. Explain case studies of, of the use of digital or you, other media in one of the following, a social justice move, movement. So in other words, learning about how digital or other media can uh, create movement. So avaz.org is a great example of that with the one we sign up to in class. And that it's a big movement of just people trying to make positive change around the world, okay? Uh, so if there's abuses happening in the world, they notify people and then you click sign and then you the petition sent to government saying, we want this to change. Um, examine case, okay, so a social movement, that's a social movement. There's as, as many different social movements going on all the time. The Greens have many different social movements going on all the time as well, and environmental groups. A political election or referendum. Um, Played election, we'll look how Barack Obama got elected using not just uh, Twitter, but it was a big part of his campaign, and, and social media generally was a big part of his campaign to get elected. Criminal investigations, yes, yeah, some people get video cameras and can see a crime happening, and then Gardy and, 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 slit and lawyers, etc., need to sort out is it true, or have they snipped it out bits, or what's the truth and what's the reality. So reflect on what has been learned in this strand clipboard. So again, what you need to do then is when you're finished all of strand three, uh, you do a two page A4 sheet on uh, strand three, basically reflecting on what you learned about strand three and what you think and your opinions at the end as well. So start uh, strand one and can teach strand two and three, yeah, in reverse order. So it doesn't have to be in any particular order. The, the strands, the teacher just decides on what's best given whatever's happening and current affairs in particular. That's why we did strand three uh, next is because the general election remembers so. well. So reflect, uh, reflection should be at the end of each strands. Um, students complete uh, actions. Again, they can be at home and they can be in class. So for example, community cleanups were big on at the end of the year in, in second year. And then raising awareness about human rights issues in first year is a big one for us. So one of these actions, uh, okay, so samples, slurs, okay, you don't need to worry about that. Keep a journal, okay, well, it's always good to keep a diary or journal on things. Uh, well-being and indicators, active, resilient, responsible, respect, and aware. So that's what we try and build in class, that we have actions that we're building a bit of resilience in our, our working class uh, and outside class, and, and uh, the idea of, of all of that, and, and teamwork, and responsibility, and respect, and the well-being of, the, of, of yourselves and of others. And then we also talk a lot about well-being class, a massive module on the start of the year. Um, we also uh, do an awful lot on heat, healthy eating, uh, about exercise, nature, spirituality, freedom of speech, positive relationships, uh, yeah, sustainability, climate change as well. Okay, we'll go back up now to strand two um, and stay with me. Hopefully it won't take too long now to go through strand two and to have a comprehensive guide of, you know, what we're targeting um, in terms of learning. So strand two is called global citizenship, and you need to know that first of all, that it's called that. Um, and what it deals with is sustainability, again, it ties into the environment and climate change, local and development, uh, local and global development, which is how do places develop and improve locally, and how do countries uh, develop globally? And then affecting, how can we affect global change? Okay, so we we'll go to the first one first. So sustainability, uh, we communicate about how they are connected, how 
how ecosystems are connected to each other, how people in place are connected to each other. Um, also, we look at uh, development and how we can develop in Ireland in a sustainable way that's going to last and going to be good for all our futures. And then we do uh, create a visual representation of data depicting uh, how we might be negative, negatively um, reacting with our environment. Um, so what footprint do we leave behind? How much pollution? How much fossil fuels do we use? How little renewable energy do we use? Um, how little reducing, um, reusing and recycling that we're doing? Um, composting? Um, harvesting rainwater for not what 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 negative print are we leaving on, on planet earth and then discuss three or, or more sustainable living strategies that uh, we can employ in our lives and um, so in other words what can we do to make uh, the environment last longer how can we protect and uh, environment remember we mentioned the class growing trees is, is a big thing letting your parts of your gardens grow wild for insect pollination and, and uh, growth of different types of plants and, and wildlife. And protecting uh, wildlife and nature reserves throughout Ireland is very, very important. Okay, so local and global development. So how do we develop local? We've taken Rush. Remember the Tesco was built. Remember the, um, remember the, the, the library was, was uh, converted as well from, I think it was a community center. Correct me on that if I'm wrong. And they built it into a great resource in Rush, the library there. Um, so that's, there's some great developments in Rush, theatre and different things. You know yourself, you're from Rush yourself, so you look around Rush and you see what's been developed locally. And then uh, what's, been happening, what's been happening globally. So some uh, countries develop uh, a lot quicker than others. So you've got underdeveloped countries, which are places like the Congo, say, in Africa, parts of Africa as well, that is, 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 uh, is what's the word, they're, they're developed in, in, in a lot of ways too. So I wouldn't tar everything with the same brush either, that there's, it depends on places within particular countries in Africa as well. Um, okay, so um, where was I? Express an informed opinion about the root causes of poverty, both local. Okay, so yeah, global development, underdevelopment, I gave you an example, developing then places like South America where they're going from underdeveloped to developing and um, um, working towards uh, fully developed. And again, a lot of places in, in South America are very, parts of it are well developed and other parts are not well developed. In Ireland, we're very well developed, very well modern. Of course, we're not perfect and uh, no place is, but we're a very modern uh, 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 society. Okay, so um, very well developed. We have a lot of really big developments in Ireland, okay? Um, from sporting developments to business developments to environmental developments to everything and anything. Okay, so you, it's a very broad spectrum when you're talking about development. And then affecting global change then, uh, identify one person and one uh, company or organization with power and influence in the world today. So the UN is the one we use there, so you're not confused. And then analyze, uh, you could use the EU as well. Analyze one gl global issue or challenge, again, climate change was the one we focused on. Under the following headings, causes, consequences, impact on people's lives and possible solutions. So there's a key thing there to remember and to remind me when we're doing it on sustainability and on affecting global change. So we want to do uh, climate change and we want to write up a report uh, writing down the causes of climate change, what are the bad things or consequences if we don't do something about it, what's the impact on people's uh, lives daily and then into the future, and what are the possible solutions. That'll be, climate change would be perfect to do on that one. So remind, remind me about that one when we're doing that next, when we meet each other next. Okay, so um, evaluate how, the, how students can contribute in responding to one challenge currently facing the world. Again, how can we as students then, uh, or how can students then respond to, to, to that challenge? Examine a campaign for change in the area of sustainability. Um, again, it's overlapping here, and assess, assess reasons why it has or has not been successful. So has sustainability been uh, uh, successful in Ireland? Well, we've, we've, we've done an awful lot of improvements, but we're, we're, we're one of the worst in Europe for our targets on, on, on fossil fuels and our targets on that 7% that you hear about in the news that we want to reduce our... Um, our fossil fuels and increase our renewable energy 
so that we're a more sustainable country. So we're trying to, the current government, Fianna Gael and Fianna Fáil, we're looking at around 3%. Now I think they're negotiating 7% over 10 years. And that's uh, to basically uh, reduce fossil fuels, increase, reduce, reuse, recycle, build more nature, build more tree, uh, grow more trees, grow, grow wildlife and nature. And that will all be helpful. So this section here is a lot to do with um, the environment, climate change and how we sustain planet Earth. Yeah, so that's strand two. So, okay, I don't want to take you any more of your time up. So hope that was helpful and um, stay safe and see if we can continue doing some actions even outside of class on the things we spoke about a bit, reduce, reuse, recycle, um, and, and trying to do nice things, making a difference, which is what our book and our course is all about, uh, in a positive way to our parents and friends uh, and people generally. Okay, thanks for your attention. Bye-bye.